Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play King's Gold by Blue Orange. It's ages eight and up, two to six players, and takes about 15 minutes. Let me show you how to play. One of the things I love most about King's Gold is the easy setup. You simply remove the lid, put out the dice roll reference sheet, and take the dice out. Uh, to begin play, each player will roll the dice once, all five dice, and see how many skulls they get that come up. So this player got one skull, this player got one skull as well, one skull, and then this player got two skulls, so they get to go first. Let me walk you through the different dice rolls and results for this game. So if this was the player's first roll and they rolled this, they have the opportunity to roll two more times. And so let's say they save these and re-roll all of these and they get this for their second re-roll on these. They like that they got the three coins, so they re-roll one more time and they get two coins on this. This stays the same. And this is their final result that they stayed with. You don't have to roll three times. If you like your roll the first time, you can just go with it or the second time, but you have up to three rolls um, to work with. Your first combination is uh, a cannon plus a coin die. You can only use the dice once each. And so for this, the cannon plus coins, you get to get three coins from the box for yourself, but you also get to pay three to the king, which goes into a separate pile here, just off to the side of the box. If it's later in the game and there's very few coins left in the box, say that there's only two coins left in here and the rest is gone, you would take one coin and give one coin to the king. The king always gets his due. And let's say that there was an odd number, like there were only three coins and this is what you got. You would take one coin and the king would get the greater amount. He would get the last two because uh, he is the king. Um, after this, you can use uh, your other dice combinations. And here you would have a skull and a coin die. You can't combine it with this one, even though it's more coins because it's already been used. So for the skulls, you get to steal from an opponent, which is really fun. Here, nobody else has any coins, so you wouldn't get to steal anything. If it's later in the game, and let's say this person has a few coins, then you can steal two coins and add it to your pile. Next, if you were to get all coins, uh, at this point, you would get to take all of the coins from the king's gold. So whatever happens to be in here, sometimes there's a ton, sometimes there's none, whatever's over here you get. So in this case, it would just be three coins and that would be added to the stack turn over. You can have all skulls where uh, you get to steal all the coins from an opponent. So <laughs> it's early in the game, so there's not a lot out there. This can be really great later on. So the only other person with coins right now is this player. So if they got this, they could take all of their coins and it would go into their stack. Next, we have all cannons. And if that happens, the game ends because you get to take all of the coins from the box and put it in your pile. At the end of this game, this might not look very impressive. There might just be a couple coins left and you get a few more to add to your pile and everybody else has big piles of coins, but it, this is a game ender, no matter what. The game ends once the box of treasure is empty and everybody has uh, the coins in there. And finally, you can re-roll any die you want, except when you roll at crossbones. If you roll, if this player was rolling and this was their first roll, their crossbones get set to the side and you can never re-roll that. And then you keep on going and let's say they rolled another and then they rolled another. At this point, you uh, have a penalty. And so you would have to pay three coins to the king's gold. If you don't have any coins if this is the beginning of the game or when you've had a bunch of coins stolen from you. Uh, you don't have to give any coins away that you don't have. Uh, so you wouldn't have to pay that. Or if you only had one or two, just whatever you had, you would pay over here. But it's three coins that you owe. And then you still to, do get to take your other play if you get something. So 
this person would get to, they have the cannon and two coins. So then they would get to get two coins from here and pay two to the king. Here's what the end of a game would look like. Let's say it's this player's turn and this was their role. And uh, let's say this was their first role, but you know what? It's fine. They're going to end with this. They're going to use the cannon and these three coins to get to take three from here and pay three to the king, but there's only two left. So they get one, the king gets one, and the box is empty, so game is over. You count it up, just eyeballing it. You can see this person has the biggest pile and they are the winner. In the event of a tie, there is no official tiebreaker. You're supposed to play an entire additional round, or you could just do a sudden death dice roll and whoever got the most skulls again could be the winner. Or just play another game because they're quick and they're easy and fun. So that's how to play King's Gold. I really appreciate that you can choose who you're stealing from so you can take it easy on younger players. And it's just a great portable game. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother. Mm -hmm.